Hey folks, for the month of June, we are talking about God's timing in the homeschooling and parental journey. I want to call your attention to this pergola behind us that my sons and I built probably four years ago. If you can tell, we planted wisteria on either side as well. Just recently, my wife and I were walking here in our road having a husband and wife time, and we noticed the plants. This side looked much like it looks right now. I mean, it was filled out with leaves, almost touching the ground, it looked beautiful. However, its sister plant, again, planted on the very same day, the very same genetics, very same soil, did not have one leaf on it. It was bare. As a matter of fact, I thought it was dead. I was going to cut it down, dig it up, and throw it away, but I decided to wait just a couple of weeks to make sure it was dead. And then a couple of weeks later, as I walked by, I walked close to it, and I saw a little bud here, a little bud there, a little bud down there. Sure enough, it had some life left in it. And in the last two weeks, it's still a little thin down below, but it's pretty well caught up, maybe even surpassed its sister plant on the top side. Is not that a beautiful illustration of homeschooling our different children? Because we have some kids that might be fast out of the blocks on this side. We've had kids uh, read fluently at four years of age. We've had kids know their multiplication tables when they were six or maybe seven. We've had others who were still struggling to read at eight or nine or, or dealing with their multiplication tables at 10 or 11. Same genetic code, same parents, same soil, being raised in the same home. Some grew quicker, sl some grew slower, but they all grew. I want you as parents to do this. <sighs> Take a breath. Because sometimes we get so excited, we think there's a problem with our children or a problem with us as parents when maybe it's just a matter of God's timing. When He decides to open up our kids' understanding to a math concept or to, to English, to writing or to reading. I'm not saying there's not a time for intervention. Uh, there are sometimes our kids may need special tutoring. Maybe they have a, a learning disability. Uh, sometimes though, it's just a matter of God's timing. What we have to be careful about as parents is not to do to our kids what I almost did to this plant. Start cutting it down. Start nagging. What's wrong with you? Or what's wrong with us? Are we a failure as parents? Maybe it's neither. Maybe God just says, not yet. I oftentimes tell people when they say, well, Kirk, I'm afraid my kids are behind. I say, well, behind who? Or behind what? Behind a sibling? Behind another homeschooler? Behind a public schooler? Behind what? Somebody who's out in Washington, D.C. who says, well, your child at 7 years of age should be doing this, or at 10 years of age should be doing this. Folks, I believe that God's timing is perfect for our children. That's why I continue to tell homeschoolers, let's not get too freaked out when things aren't in our time schedule. And let's learn to relax and trust God. I think if we do that, we'll find that we'll enjoy the homeschooling journey more. We will enjoy our kids more. They will enjoy homeschooling more. And they will grow into who God has made them in His timing. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.